The project that I'm currently working on is based on a home and culture brief and that just means taking anything that we as individuals believe is part of our home and culture and integrating that into an everyday object which was a door handle. I chose to do it on my great granddad's life story. He was involved in the resistance against the regime in Germany during World War II. That meant integrating typewriter keys and books and things as he would use a typewriter to write anti-propaganda. The first step I took when doing my project was doing the research, which involved going and looking into historical context. We used techniques such as mind mapping, which is sitting down and developing our ideas, and other things like mood boards to kind of find a theme or idea of what sort of style I wanted to achieve. Our team is working on a portable sensory dome for people that may suffer from autism or dementia to provide them a place to relax from what can become an otherwise chaotic world or to play and explore their senses through things such as light and texture. The ideation stage of the design process is a really critical component. It's where we're taking what we've found from our research and starting to explore the world of possibilities. We're taking inspiration from the world around us and then going through into generating rough ideation sketches where we're really just trying to get as many ideas out as possible. We're then going through into more refined concept designs where we're taking two to three of our ideation ideas and we're really starting to flesh those out, exploring the forms, functions and aesthetics of the design. The project we're currently working on is creating a folding chair and our target market is food trucks. We've created a chair that is very versatile in the fact that it can be used as both a chair and a table and it gets packed down super small which is great for food truck owners to be able to store in their vans. They can take them from location to location and take them out and set them up for customers to use. Prototyping is the third step in the design process and essentially it's all about bringing your concept to life. So you're creating a physical model. This means that you can sort of test your design and see how feasible it is. What works, what doesn't, what you can work on in the future so that you can sort of take that forward into your design. And there's a lot of different elements that can go into a prototype. You can create a 2D model of your project or you can create a 3D model. And to do this you can do laser cutting or thermoforming. 3D printing is a really big one that we use here in product design because it's a quick way to assemble your model and see how feasible it is. My project is looking at how a map pack bag can be incorporated into the circular economy. So first and foremost it focuses on the durability, so it's a nylon based bag um, to try and extend its useful life. The bag is all black so it makes it really easy for it to go uh, through the recycling machine, come at the other end as fibres and be recycled into a new product or exactly the same bag. The delivery and communication phase is a really important phase because you've done all this really great work on your product and now it's finally time to communicate this to your audience. As part of the delivery and communication stage we focus on making an alpha prototype, so a physical model that's both for aesthetic and functional purposes. We also make a final portfolio that shows the finer details and then a series of uh, posters or an A1 poster with what we call hero shots to portray our product in a really visual way for market. One of the projects I'm working on at the moment is a harukiki and coarse wool fibre chair and our skateboard product is a fibre reinforced plastic material which is 30% harukiki fibre and 70% PLA which is recycled from 3D prints. We've got amazing natural fibres that have amazing properties and they're just not quite being utilised how we see that they can be. So we thought, hey, how can we make a business out of this? William and I have co-founded Kiwi Fibre Innovations, a startup looking to develop sustainable high-performance composite materials for a range of high-carbon industries. So when Ben and I realised we wanted to take this further, we did the summer startup run by the Centre of Entrepreneurship. Uh, that was a summer-long programme that taught us how to pitch, uh, network, and that led us on to huge opportunities so in the future we want to see Kiwi Fiber being a commonplace in sport and rec and even up in satellites in space.